With the rescue effort underway, viewers are reaching out to local 10 for help and finding their family members. And Eden Checkle has that part of the story. Well, Nicole and Kelvin, as you both can imagine, this waiting period, this space of the unknown is emotionally taxing for so many families. 102 people have been accounted for, but the search for many loved ones continues. Officials say 99 people are still unaccounted for. So we're sharing some of their photos with you tonight. Uh, let's pull up this first photo right here. This is 36 year old Teresa Velasquez. She was in town visiting her parents. She came from LA, Angela and Julia Cesar Velasquez. Uh, in apartment 304. And we also have Estelle Hedea. She lives in apartment 604, and those who know her say she is very loved by friends in the Jewish community. Uh, I, at one point, actually, her friend had sent us an email and said that she had reached out to her on WhatsApp. Uh, the last time that she was active was around 11 p.m. yesterday. Uh, I want to show you Simon Siegel pictured. There's that text. That's a text from her friend, and she has not received a response still. Next, we have Simon Siegel's niece says that he's missing. He lived on the 11th floor. And I want to show you another photo. This right here, 79-year-old Leon Olikowicz and his wife, 74-year-old Christina Olikowicz, their daughter, is still searching for them. Bhavna and Aishani Patel, we're showing you their pictures right here, and Vishal Patel, uh, still missing. They lived in Unit 311. And we also have the Leon family, Alfredo and his son Lorenzo on the right there missing. A close friend reached out to us and said that they lived in Unit 512. The mother was not at home at the time of the collapse and is doing okay, but father and son still missing. Graciela Catarasi and her daughter Estella are missing and haven't been heard from since the collapse happened. Estella is also seen on the right. That's a more recent photo that was just given to us by a friend. That friend tells us that Catarasi's sister and her elderly parents are also missing. And we want to show you Dr. Brad Cohen. His wife says that she still hasn't heard about his whereabouts right now. We heard from her earlier uh, today. And friends and family are posting on social media about this couple right here, Nicole Langsfeld and her fiance, Luis Sadovnik. Loved ones say uh, that were on the scene say that they lived on the eighth floor. And we're also hearing about Nancy Kleinman, who has been missing. We received this photo, an updated photo of her. Uh, Luis Andres Bermudez and Anna Ortiz, pictured right here. Bermudez's cousin reached out to us and says that he has muscular dystrophy and cannot walk. Family and friends also searching for Hilda Noriega and Magali Delgado. Uh, Christian De La Rosa had shared a, a more updated photo of her with us earlier. And if you're still searching for family, please call 305-614-1819. Uh, that's the family reunification number. And then there's also another emergency hotline number, 305-993-1071. And when you just put yourself in these family members' shoes and these friends' shoes, it's gotta be difficult not knowing how they survived this collapse. Again, that space of the unknown is just, it's a lot. It's a lot for, for people to take in right now. Absolutely. Eden, thanks a lot.